Ever pondered what secrets the sands of Egypt still hold in their grains about the ancient civilization that once thrived there? Ah, ancient Egypt, a civilization that has left an indelible imprint on the tapestry of human history. A land of mystery and wonder, where the line between the divine and the mortal was as blurred as the desert horizon. Its influence has echoed through the ages, shaping the course of countless cultures and civilizations that followed. From the grandeur of the Great Pyramids to the enigmatic allure of hieroglyphs, there's much more to this civilization than meets the eye. Today, we'll unearth the layers of history and reveal 10 fascinating nuggets of knowledge about this remarkable civilization. Each fact more intriguing than the last, offering a new perspective to understand this civilization that has stood the test of time. Prepare to journey back in time as we unveil the first of our 10 facts about ancient Egypt. Fact number one, did you know that the pharaohs of ancient Egypt were considered as living gods? Quite the fascinating concept, isn't it? This ideology of divine kingship formed the bedrock of ancient Egyptian culture and society. The pharaohs weren't just monarchs ruling over the land, they were divine entities, embodiments of the gods themselves who walked among mortals. In this world where the divine and mortal realms intertwined, the pharaohs held a unique and pivotal role. They were seen as the human form of Horus, the sky god, and the son of Osiris, the god of the underworld and resurrection. Their duties were not limited to mundane governance. They were the chief priests of the nation, officiating religious rituals and ensuring the gods' favor was bestowed upon Egypt. They were the mediators between the gods and the people, interceding on behalf of their subjects in matters of life, death, and the all-important cycle of the Nile. The pharaoh's divine status was crucial in maintaining Ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept of truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice. They were the guardians of this divine order, ensuring the sun rose, the Nile flooded, and the land remained fertile. Indeed, being a pharaoh in ancient Egypt was not just about ruling, but also about bridging the gap between mortals and gods. Their reign was an intricate dance of power and piety, a testament to the deeply spiritual and religious nature of ancient Egyptian society. Moving on to fact number two, the ancient Egyptians communicated through hieroglyphs. Now this wasn't your everyday alphabet, no, hieroglyphs were a complex and beautiful script brimming with artistic expression and cultural significance. Picture this, instead of 26 letters, the ancient Egyptians used more than 700 distinct characters. Each hieroglyph was a tiny masterpiece, a blend of symbolic imagery and stylized design. They could represent sounds, ideas, actions, and even whole words. But what made hieroglyphs truly special was their role as time capsules. They were the scribes of history, the keepers of cultural memory. Every monument, every tomb, every scroll inked with these intricate symbols was a window into the world of the ancients. From the grandeur of pharaohs to the humdrum of daily life, hieroglyphs captured it all. They told tales of heroic battles, divine miracles and bountiful harvests. They recorded laws, prayers and scientific knowledge. They expressed love, grief, hope and fear. And yet for all their detail, hieroglyphs were not mere records. They were also art, philosophy, and religion. Each symbol was a nexus of meaning, resonating with cultural, spiritual, and aesthetic significance. In the hands of skilled scribes, hieroglyphs were not just a means of communication. They were a celebration of the Egyptian way of life, a testament to their civilization's richness and depth. Imagine, each symbol not just a letter, but a story of its own. Fact number three. Ancient Egyptians were pioneers in various fields. This is not an exaggeration, but a testament to their ingenuity and inventiveness. Take mathematics, for example. Ancient Egyptians developed a system of numerals and complex calculations that were crucial to their construction projects and trade. They were among the first to use the concept of zero and fractions, and they even had a rough understanding of the concept of pi centuries before it was officially recognized. Moving on from numbers to structures, their architectural prowess is world-renowned. A quick glance at the Pyramids of Giza, or the Sphinx, is enough to leave one in awe. These constructions were not only grand, but they were also built with an intricate understanding of geometry and engineering. Such architectural marvels, built without modern machinery, 
are testimony to their advanced knowledge. In the field of medicine, the ancient Egyptians were no less than trailblazers. They were among the first to perform complex surgeries and create medicinal remedies. Medical papyri found from this era are filled with descriptions of surgical procedures, diagnoses, and treatments, indicating a robust healthcare system. In conclusion, whether it was mathematics, architecture, or medicine, the ancient Egyptians proved to be ahead of their time, laying the groundwork for many modern practices and concepts. It's awe-inspiring to think how much we owe to these ancient innovators. Fact number four, the Nile River was the lifeblood of ancient Egypt. Imagine a river so vital that it shaped the course of an entire civilization. That's the Nile for you. Stretching over 4,000 miles, it was more than a river to the ancient Egyptians. It was a conduit of life and prosperity. Picture the fertile banks of the Nile, where the annual flooding left a rich layer of silt. This black, fertile soil was a blessing, making the land around the Nile a veritable breadbasket. The ancient Egyptians cultivated wheat, barley, flax, and a variety of fruits and vegetables, all nourished by the Nile's bounty. But the river's gifts didn't stop at agriculture. The Nile also served as the main transportation route, connecting the diverse regions of the kingdom. Boats laden with grain, stones, and other goods regularly sailed its waters. The river became the arterial highway of commerce and communication for ancient Egypt. The Nile's significance penetrated even deeper into the fabric of society, playing a central role in religious ceremonies. It was seen as a divine entity, the earthly embodiment of the gods. The river's annual inundation was celebrated with rituals and feasts, thanking the gods for their generosity and praying for continued prosperity. The Nile, truly, was Egypt's flowing treasure. This majestic river, with its life-giving waters and fertile banks, was the beating heart of ancient Egypt, a testament to the power of nature in shaping human history. Fact number five, women in ancient Egypt had more rights than in other ancient societies. This might come as a surprise to many, when we picture ancient civilizations, we often imagine societies dominated by men, where women had little say or influence. But in ancient Egypt, this was not entirely the case. Women in ancient Egypt were not just confined to the domestic sphere. They had a voice and a presence. They could own, inherit, and sell property, a right that was not commonly given to women in many other ancient societies. They were not simply objects of inheritance, but were themselves active participants in the economic life of the society. Moreover, they could initiate divorce and were entitled to alimony, showing that they had considerable legal rights and protection. This is strikingly modern, isn't it? It's a far cry from the image of the oppressed, voiceless woman that we often associate with ancient societies. It's important to remember, however, that this doesn't necessarily mean that ancient Egypt was a feminist utopia women were still generally expected to conform to certain societal norms and roles. But the fact that they had these rights shows that they had a level of independence and agency that was unusual for the time. So, when we think of ancient Egypt, let's not just think of pyramids and pharaohs. Let's also remember the women who had rights and freedoms that were remarkably progressive for their era. Ancity Egypt, it seems, was ahead of its time in gender equality. Fact number six, ancient Egyptians revered animals and even worshipped some as gods. Can you imagine your house cat as a divine being? Well, the ancient Egyptians did. Cats known as Mao were considered sacred and were even associated with the goddess Bastet, the deity of home, fertility, and childbirth. She was often depicted as a lioness or as a woman with a lioness's head. The respect for these feline creatures was so profound that harming a cat, even accidentally, was considered a grave crime. But cats weren't the only animals held in high regard. Let's wade into the waters of the Nile and meet the crocodile god, Sobek. Sobek was a symbol of pharaonic power, fertility, and military prowess. He was typically represented as a human with a crocodile head. The city of Crocodilopolis was the main center of Sobek's worship, where live sacred crocodiles were kept and venerated. These are just two examples, but the ancient Egyptian pantheon was rife with animal gods. Each one was worshiped and respected for its unique characteristics and the qualities it represented. 
This belief system illustrates the profound connection the ancient Egyptians felt between the natural and spiritual worlds, viewing animals as embodiments of divine power. In the eyes of the ancient Egyptians, the animal kingdom was not so different from the divine. Scene script. Fact number seven. The pyramid builders were not slaves. Now, this might shatter a few long-held assumptions. It's often imagined that legions of downtrodden slaves under the merciless Egyptian sun toiled to erect these monumental structures. But the reality, as far as we understand it, paints a more nuanced picture. Recent archaeological evidence suggests that the workforce behind these masterpieces was composed of skilled laborers, not enslaved masses. These were artisans, engineers, and builders with profound knowledge of their craft. Imagine the precision required to construct the Great Pyramid of Giza, to align it with true north with an accuracy of 3 sixtieths of a degree. That's not the work of unskilled labor. It's the product of minds with an advanced understanding of astronomy, mathematics, and engineering. We also know that these workers were well compensated. They lived in purpose-built settlements near the pyramids with access to good quality food and medical care. They worked in three-month shifts with ample time for rest and recovery. Even their burial sites suggest a reverence for their contributions. Workers were laid to rest in tombs near the sacred pyramid grounds, a privilege reserved for those of high social status. So the narrative of slaves building the pyramids? It's a myth. The true story is one of skilled workers, respected and rewarded for their efforts. The pyramids then are a testament, not just to architectural genius, but to the respect for labor in ancient Egypt. Scene script. Fact number eight, the process of mummification in ancient Egypt was complex and sacred. A fascinating blend of science and spirituality, mummification was the cornerstone of Egyptian beliefs about death and the afterlife. The Egyptians believed that the human soul, or ka, needed a physical home after death, and mummification ensured the body remained preserved for eternity. The process was a meticulous one, taking up to 70 days to complete. First, the body was washed and purified, then the internal organs were removed, each carefully preserved in canopic jars. The heart, considered the seat of intelligence and emotion, was left intact as it was crucial for the final judgment in the afterlife. Next, the body was dehydrated using a natural salt called natron before being filled with linen or sawdust to retain its shape. After this, the body was wrapped in hundreds of yards of linen strips, often inscribed with protective spells and charms. Finally, the body was placed in a decorated coffin, ready for its journey to the afterlife. There's a profound beauty in this process, a testament to the Egyptians' deep-seated belief in life after death. The mummification process wasn't just about preserving the physical body, it was about safeguarding the soul for its eternal journey. It's a reminder that for the ancient Egyptians, death was not the end, but a gateway to another existence. Even in death, the ancient Egyptians were full of life. Scene script. Fact number nine, ancient Egypt was known as the land of gold. Ancient Egypt was a place of immense wealth, and much of this wealth was tied to the abundance of gold. The Egyptians referred to gold as nub, and they saw it as a divine and indestructible metal that shone like the sun. In fact, they believed that the skin of their gods was made of gold, reflecting its divine status and association with the sun. This precious metal was found in abundance along the riverbeds of the Nile River and in the deserts of Egypt. This wealth of gold allowed for the creation of some of the most iconic and lavish artifacts of ancient Egypt, from the intricate jewelry worn by the pharaohs to the grand golden sarcophagi that housed the royal mummies. Gold was not just used for decorative purposes, though. It played a crucial role in religious ceremonies and rituals. It was used to create statues and idols of gods and was believed to possess magical properties that could ward off evil spirits. It's also worth noting that gold was used as a form of currency. The more gold a person or a city possessed, the higher their status. This further underscores the immense value and importance that the ancient Egyptians placed on this precious metal. Gold, for the ancient Egyptians, was more than just a precious metal. It was a piece of the sun. And finally, fact number 10, ancient Egyptians practiced dentistry. Yes, you heard it right. 
Before the invention of modern dental tools, the Egyptians were already on it. Archaeological findings reveal evidence of dental treatment dating back to the era of the pharaohs. They used primitive forms of drills and other tools to remove decay and treat dental ailments. But their expertise didn't stop there. They even ventured into the realm of dental prosthetics. Yes, dental implants and bridges were not a 21st century innovation. The Egyptians were crafting false teeth and stabilizing loose teeth with gold wire over 4,000 years ago. Their understanding of dental health was surprisingly advanced for their time. They recognized the need for oral hygiene and even created toothpastes and mouthwashes from ingredients like crushed rock salt, mint, and dried iris flower. Who knew that the ancient Egyptians were not just pyramid builders, but also tooth savers? From divine pharaohs to innovative builders, from gold-loving people to tooth-saving dentists, ancient Egypt was indeed a civilization ahead of its time. A civilization that redefined power with its divine pharaohs and left us marveling at their hieroglyphic wonders. Their innovative spirit gave us timeless monuments, while the Nile's blessing nurtured their society. They showed us a glimpse of equality, and their reverence for animals was unparalleled. Their pyramid builders were the master architects of their time, and their mummification rituals still hold us captivated. The land of gold that was ancient Egypt was not just rich in resources, but in culture and innovation too. And who would have thought Amid all this, they'd also be the pioneers of dentistry. These are not just historical facts, they are testimonies of a civilization that continues to shape our world. As we leave the sands of time, remember that every grain holds a story, a mystery, a piece of the past. Until next time, keep exploring.